this would definitely be a deal breaker. So we have had several people ask us for advice on buying an RV. And we are by no means experts in this area, but we thought we would share with you what has worked with us because we felt like we got a pretty good deal. So we thought we would just share for you what we did and how it worked for us. Yeah, we want you to think about these things. These are things that we've learned when we bought, things we picked up from other people. And we just want to share with these tips with you today. So consider these tips before buying your next RV. So one thing you really need to think about when you're purchasing an RV is take your time. Yeah, don't get in any kind of a hurry. It actually took us nine months to a year to find and purchase this RV. That being said, my husband is a research guru. He is going to research anything we purchase until <laughs> until there's nothing left to research is what he's going to do, which has really helped us, even though it's quite irritating, it has really helped us because I'm the impulse buyer. I'm like, let's just go get something. And he says, nope, we're gonna research it. And we're gonna, he's gonna look it up and read everything about it, all the reviews, everything. I've told her numerous times, I was putting her life to teach her patience. Yeah, <laughs> true, so, but so true. <laughs> But check around. The people that have made the biggest mistakes are the ones that rushed into it. And speaking of research, research is something you really need to do before you purchase your rig. Right. There's many sources. What we did was got online and just went dealer after dealer and looked at different floor models and what we thought was right. We went to look at class A's, class C's online, class B's, the trailers, the fifth wheels, et cetera, et cetera. It, there's a lot to decide when you go to purchase a rig. Right. And what we did is, for a couple of reasons, we said, let's narrow down to class C's. We thought- That's the first thing you got to do is narrow it down to the type that you want. I had not been, she had, she yeah. has had four or five different RVs. I've had everything now except a class A and I see that in my future. And this was- <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> This was my first RV and that's why I wanted to do a lot of research. But also, I was not mm -hmm. raised up backing up boats or backing in trailers or anything like that. So that made me a little nervous. I've seen some things where people are trying to back up a big fifth wheel and have all kinds of problems. And that was something that we didn't want to do. I've gained a lot of confidence with this and other things such as towing a car. And later on, I think I'm going to be able to do it. It's just a learning process right he used to we would we had a pull behind trailer that we would haul stuff in and he would get so frustrated with trying to back that thing up that he would just get out and manhandle it by picking it up and directing it wherever he wanted it to go uh, yeah I couldn't forget. do that with a fifth wheel or yeah don't have the muscles for that behind. yeah those muscles are not what they used to be on all of us <laughs> Whoa. So, <laughs> well, didn't mean that bad way. <laughs> you may cut that out. No. Okay. So, just plan on just being thorough. Use the internet. We went to nearby dealers to see what their floor, floor plans look like. And because once you saw it on the internet, you need to start seeing it in real life. And we told them up front that we were just doing research. Mm -hmm. And so they weren't, they weren't real pushy with us. So do that. And what we kind of suggest is Try to determine what kind of floor plan you want and then look at several different brands because most brands will have a similar floor plans mm -hmm. and that's something we'd really suggest because if you dead set on one brand, then you're going to miss out on other opportunities yeah. to get, maybe get a, a better rig. Yeah, because Forest River is was not our original one that we wanted. We wanted a Jayco from all the new ones that we had looked at. We wanted a Jayco. But we ended up with a Forest River. It checked off every box of the things we wanted in mm -hmm. an RV. Yep. Such as? Our requirement is that our bed does not fold. We can sleep right here, even when the bed is all in as it is now. If this was a folding bed, this would definitely be a deal breaker. We can get to everything in our rig while we're going down the road. The fridge, 
all of our food and stove and sink. The only thing that we can't get to are these two little drawers right here. That contains our silverware. So I just take out whatever I need, lay it up here and roll on. Perfect setup for us. We can also get all the way through. Now there's not a lot of space here, but we can get all the way through even when the rig's in. We can have our meals and relax on the couch. So another thing you should do is not just internet research, but hands-on research. Yeah, you can see friends rigs. You can take a look at those, as we mentioned, going to the dealer and you can even rent an RV. Mm -hmm. Now, I would tell you that's, you're not gonna find a lot about the different brands by renting because you're not gonna rent out a hundred different RVs over yeah. this over a weekend. But what it can do is help you decide between your final two and what it definitely can do is help you decide, do I really want an RV? Because it is, if you don't have patience, it can be <laughs> tough at times and it can get- It's not for everyone. Yeah, it's not for everyone. It's it just not for stressful, everyone. But that could help you with that. Yeah. Uh, oh, another thing that we did when we were uh, looking that really helped us and opened our eyes is that we joined several RV forums for the models or for the makers, makers, makers or brands. Yeah, for the makers or brands that uh, we wanted. We joined the Forest River Forum. We joined the Jayco Forum and people get on there and they tell the problems, the issues, uh, how to resolve them. They'll talk about, you know, how service was. You can just learn a lot by going on there and looking at those places. And so, as you know, we purchased a used RV. Yep, that's one thing we'd strongly suggest. Mm -hmm. There are pros and cons. You'll hear some people say, well, you get a warranty with new. Yes, you do. You also get more bugs with new read those forums, listen to those people talk, you'll see that that first year is when there's so many bugs, so many issues, so many problems that gotta be worked out. Yeah. And so there's a there's a long period of time that people aren't even in their rigs because it's at, back at the dealer or back at the factory get, getting things fixed. Ours was four years old when we bought it. And so the person before us had already worked out all those issues. Now we do have a, uh, an entire video on new versus used and one compared to the other. So we'll just let you, he'll link that video yep. somewhere. And if you're interested in that or have questions about it, you can go watch that. And we're now talking about another point is private sellers. You have a choice of going to a dealer and getting a used vehicle, or you got a choice of getting from a private. Um, and sometimes it's just a matter of where, where you find what you're looking for and where you can actually get your hands on it. Right. But if you can find a private seller, a lot of times they're maybe going to throw in things that are made just for that rig. Mm -hmm. And if you're buying from a private seller, if that's the direction you're trying to go into, because you can typically save a little bit of money because, you know, dealers have to mark them up. There are several places you can look. You can look for RV Trader, where we got ours. You can also look at Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, and I'm sure there's some other places that we're not aware of, but. And the only caveat there is that we've heard of some people on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, or any other website. Mm -hmm. If it sounds too good to be true, then it's probably too good to it's be true. It's probably too good to be true. So make sure you're not falling for any scams where you're sending money in advance or anything like that. It's yeah. uh, Lay eyes on it. The right. title everything before right. you actually give money so if you're not going to use a private seller our next point is if you're going to use a dealer consider reviews look at those talk to people that have bought a, a rv from from that dealer because not every dealer is the same some no. do not back up their products some do not do as well on warranty work so you have that tool to look at so many people are in a hurry to buy because they have their rig and fail to look at the part that is so important, the reviews. Another thing you wanna do, get an inspection. Whether you're buying new or used, they say it's always a good idea to get an inspection. We took a friend with us who has years of RVing experience and he's a certified mechanic. And so he was able to look it over for us. We didn't get an official inspection, but we took someone who knew more than we did about it. But we would suggest getting a professional inspection we, we lucked out we didn't have any major issues mm -hmm. with, with this rig and the person we took knew so much about 
RVs and about mechanics, uh, about engines and such. So we, we felt real good after having him look at it. Yeah. Thanks, Darius. <laughs> yep. Thank you, Darius. Mm -hmm. So get an inspection. Okay. Something else you can do when you're uh, looking into purchasing is time your purchase right. Yep. This is a big one. Number one, not only time it to where maybe if you're using a dealer, get it at the last day of the month, similar to cars, they have quotas that they need to meet. Mm -hmm. So that's a point. Or the last day of an RV show, trade show, is a great time to get an RV if you're getting it from a dealer. Another big piece to timing your purchase is we want you to think about all the RVs that were bought in 2020, 2021 <clears throat> during this pandemic is those people have had those rigs for a couple of years now add high gas prices that are keeping so many people at home mm -hmm. they're going to be a lot of people selling rvs soon so yeah that's the prediction at least yes so many reports are saying within the next year there's going to be a flood on the market maybe not a flood but there's going to be a lot of our lot more rvs out there These supposed ones. to use mm -hmm. lightly used rvs and you'll be able to get a great deal yeah, if you're looking for one, that might be a good time to make your move on one. Yep, and that's another reason. Have a little bit of patience and mm -hmm. use that time, 9 to 12 months, to pick out the best rig for you. Mm -hmm. And just like there's no perfect home, there's no perfect RV. No matter what you buy, the minute you get into it, you're going to go, Oh, I wish this was different, or I wish that was different, or I need a little more space here. Yeah. We've known or seen several people that have gotten RVs and within six months traded it out and got yep. another one. You talk about losing so much equity, losing so much of your uh, value. Yeah. So you want to be sure that you can live with what you purchase. Right. And make notes of things that, ah, this is not exactly what I want. Make notes, but live with it for a few years and then make a decision to upgrade or make changes. Yeah. Decide whether it's a deal maker or a deal breaker. All right. Until next time, God bless and many safe travels. And go RV America.